Lately, I've been hearing so much regarding the flat earth. Now, I made a video some years ago regarding the flat earth on my Fearless 2005 channel. But as of today, we find that there are so many people that believe in that theory to the point they have even created a cult following. They have flat earth groups and they refer to themselves as flat earthers. When I sit back and think about it, this is all a part of the tools, divisive tools for destruction. And it's funny because people are so quickly to follow these divisive tools for destruction. And there are people that follow it because they are trying to find their way away from God or the Bible or righteousness or even religion because there is a difference between serving the Most High, keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments versus religion. There is a big difference between the two. So to escape from righteousness or doing what is right, people start attaching themselves to these man-made, divisive tools. That's all a part of what we refer to as the government or Illuminati. First, there was the feminist movement, turning women against men, women fighting for the rights of women, which we all know is far beyond them just wanting to make the same amount of money. You find that many women today have the same mentality that Eve had in the Garden of Eden where she wanted to be like God, knowing good and evil. Because when it came to the, 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 the deception or temptation, it did not come to Adam, but it came to Eve. And in this modern time, we hear so many women talk about how men have too much power and how they lust, desire, and crave for the power that they perceive men having. The feminist movement. Then there was the Black Lives Matter, where blacks were protesting, whites along with blacks saying that black lives matter. And from that, people started saying blue lives matter, white lives matter, a divisive tool. Then we had the MGTOW movement, where men started vowing to go their own way. They wanted nothing to do with women, which reminds me of the He-Man's Woman Haters Club on the Little Rascals. I also made a video regarding that on my Fearless 2005 channel. A divisive tool. Then we have the sexual assault attacks towards men. Men are now being attacked and you find that women or females are gang stalking men. Lying on men, saying that men sexually assaulted them when it never really happened and is being used for political means. A divisive tool. But what's also interesting is the fact that every single one of these tools are being led and supported by black Americans. When black Americans have no leg 
to stand on. Because even within the black community, blacks are even divided among themselves. Blacks taking out blacks. Black on black hatred and violence and jealousy and envy. Black men against black women and black women against black men. But yet they fight everyone else's battles. They utilize everyone else's tools, divisive tools for destruction. I listened to a few videos regarding a person that, or a couple of people that believe in the flat earth theory, which I think is complete nonsense. It's another way to distract people from reality. It's another form of religion, just like we have those people that uh, believe in the um, the cashless society. And they believe that one day that this world will change, but it will change. But according to the book of Revelation, where the Bible says there's going to be a new earth and a new heaven for the first earth and the first Heaven passed away and there were no more seas, but that's not the doing of man. But it's the work of the Most High. You have people that try so hard to get away from doing what's right because when serving the Most High, there's rules to doing right. Things that humans now consider the norm is considered an abomination to the most high. Transgenderism, another divisive tool for destruction. Homosexuality and lesbians, even they are fighting for rights and are getting rights and now they're taking Positions in the political arena. Spiritual wickedness in high places. So we're living in a world that's headed for destruction. And the Bible predicts that destruction. So. When it comes to these divisive tools, if you really if your desire in your heart is to do what is right, we need not to allow ourselves to be attached to these divisive tools. Don't get caught up in these doctrines of demons because that's all there is, is doctrines of demons. Demons that create these divisive tools, these doctrines, these demonic doctrines to divide and conquer, to allow a certain agenda to come forward. And it seems right to a lot of people and there's people that's following these things because it sounds right. It sounds right, man, to be able to to have another human being, regardless of their gender, to love another human being. It sounds right to not discriminate against someone that decides to want to identify themselves as a male when they were really born a woman. It's all, it sounds right to do those things. Because who really have the right to judge is what they say. But judgment begins at the house of Yah. And if judgment begins at the house of Yah, where would the ungodly and sinner appear? And we know that the church, the modern day church, is in trouble. They've also taken on these divisive tools for destructions, being deceived by these doctrines of devils. So when it comes to this flat earth theory 
that so many black folks decide to follow, not just black people. But you have so many people that are following this so-called flat earth theory, trying to debunk the books that were left behind, those books that many people claim that are fictionists, the Bible, those people that claim that God is not real, that there's no such thing as a devil or an evil force or hell or even paradise. But they deceive themselves so they can continue in the mess that they are in. There's no such thing as a flat earth. Maybe on the sci-fi channel. No one has ever been able to prove that. And the people that claim to have the information and the truth are people that have never been out of their state or their local city or town or village. They've never left there, but yet they have the answers to whether or not this earth is flat or round. But yet, there are so many people that's following blindly and ignorantly. One of the most stupidest things I've heard in my life. So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time, this is all a tool for destruction. Just like everything else I named. Black Lives Matter, the feminist movement, MGTOW, WIGTOW, WIGTOW, transgenderism, men being under attack, all of these sexual allegations. It's all a distraction. It's all a tool for destruction. Until next time, I'm fearless.